what is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. Today's video is going to focus on the shoes at Lululemon, specifically the Bliss Feel and the Charge Feel shoes. I've been getting so many questions about the differences and if I can do a comparison between them. So that is going to be today's video, which I'm super excited for. Now I know that Lululemon just came out with the Strong Feel training shoes as well. I don't actually own those ones because I feel like I don't really have too much of a purpose for them. I still want to be able to try them out, but I'm not 100% sure if I want to purchase them yet. So if you do want to see me compare like all three shoes at Lululemon, then be sure to comment down below so I know to do that video as well. But today's specific video is going to focus on the Charge Feel and Bliss Feel shoes. In particular, I did do a shoe review of the Rest Feel slides and the Bliss Feels. So if you want to know more about the Rest Feel slides and stuff, then I'll have that video linked down below for you. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. As always, this video is not sponsored and this is just kind of my own opinions and sharing like what I know as an educator working at Lululemon, just some of the technicalities on the shoes and stuff like that. So hopefully this video helps you out kind of differentiate the two shoes and I'll have them both linked down below in case you are interested in shopping either of them. It really supports my channel when you guys use those links. So thank you if you do, but let's get right into it. So I do have my Bliss Feels here. These are the ones in Minkberry. We also did get gifted a pair of Bliss Feels when they first launched as educators. So super thankful for that. I did get the triple black pair, but these are definitely my most worn and my most reached for just because I feel like these ones are super cute. I love the pink color of them and they are very well loved in the time that I've had them. So as you can see here, it is your typical kind of running shoe. There are some differences to it. So the main difference is that these shoes are designed with women in mind first. So typically shoes are designed for men's feet and then shrunken down into a women's size but these are designed for women first so taking that anatomy and science and innovation in mind to design these shoes I believe there's like a million foot scans used to design these which is super cool so many like testing and iterations of them before they finally came out with this shoe so if you want to learn more you can definitely head to Lululemon's website and kind of watch the whole research and development process of this I'm not gonna get too much much into that more of the technicality pieces so it does have the kind of sweat wicking mesh to it as well as like a really nice tongue to the shoe if you can see that here really nice and padded so it's not going to slip around as well which I really like this little pink swish right here is actually the heel clip so it's going to have your foot locked into place and feel very hugged and secure and then of course the bottom I really like the bottoms because this part here and this part here is actually thicker rubber so because these are the points that are going to hit the most when you like walk or run they're not going to wear down as easily or where this middle traction part is a little bit more flexible to give you that spring in your step which I really like it does have two millimeters of dual density foam in the shoe in the forefoot and in the heel which I really like about these shoes and then you know they're just your classic kind of running shoe other than that the main thing I like about these like I said is the dual density foam in them I find them very very comfortable for walking around in my shift for Lululemon an eight hour day is not going to hit as hard in these as some of my other running shoes so I really do appreciate that now I have done quite a few workouts in these shoes and I would say that although they are just fine for working out I'm not sure if this would be my preference for a sole running shoe it is not a technical running shoe at all it is a very neutral shoe keep that in mind it's not like your super super technical running shoes they're great for like everyday running kind of thing but I would almost recommend them more for if you're standing for long periods of time if you serve in a restaurant if you are a teacher or a janitor or something like that that you're on your feet for a very long time I would recommend these shoes for that because they do have that nice cushiony insole to them which I do really appreciate so in case you are interested in technicality points the heel drop is 9.5 millimeters and the weight is about two or 0 0.266.8 grams for a women's size eight I would say that these fit 
extremely true to size. If you do have a wider foot, they suggest to size up half a size, which I would say is probably accurate. But I got a size six in my Bliss Feels and they fit perfectly. So very true to size, which makes it easy to order. Also a great thing about the shoes is that they have a 30 day free trial. So you can wear these out, test them, run in the gym, run outside, wear them to work, whatever it might be. And if they don't work for you within that 30 day period, you can bring them back for a refund. So I do love that about all of Lululemon shoes that they are giving people a 30 day free trial in them because they are like a newer product. So definitely take advantage of that if you're thinking about trying them out and just aren't sure, then that's a great way to actually test them and make sure that they're gonna be good for you. I do really wanna get another pair of the Bliss Feels for the holiday season, just because I know it's going to be busy. We're going to be on our feet a lot, obviously, and and running around the store hustling to make sure that we can get product for guests and stuff like that so these ones have seen you know better days I would say actually they're still in pretty good shape but just for like the foam layer and stuff it is starting to you know wear down a little bit because I wear these almost every day if not every day like for work I would say so definitely getting a lot of love and use out of these but that being said for the three four four ish months like the outsole of these like the traction of them is not really worn down at all which is nice where some other shoes if I wore them for that period of time and extensiveness then I feel like they would already be worn out I have worn these to a couple berries classes which is like hit workout so you'll do a running portion and then like a weights portion on the floor and I would say that they work fine for that for me personally of course everyone's feet and knees are different when it comes to that but I would say they're still versatile enough to train in for like a light training I wouldn't say that they were like a sole training shoe I would definitely recommend the strong feels for that if you you know weight Weight lift deadlift that kind of thing then definitely the strong feels because these ones are gonna feel a lot more narrow your toes aren't gonna have enough room to splay when you are lifting but I would say for like running and like light lifting or hit workouts cycling something like that these shoes are gonna be good for that one and next let's move on to the charge feel so these are the charge feels I have them in the triple white color more of a recent pickup for me this is what it looks like I do like that these ones are a little bit more sleek of a design in terms of comparison for the shoes. Like these ones just look a little bit more like, I guess you could let's say dressy athleisure where these ones are pretty like a chunky running shoe. This one can kind of be more of a like stylish shoe, I would say. So I do like the appearance of this one. And then if you were to line them up sole to sole, you can kind of see that the bliss feels are ever so, oops ever so like barely 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 wider than the charge feels i would say i don't know i feel like they're pretty again true to size i got a size six in these they fit just fine so i would still say go true to size now these ones are more designed for that running to training aspect so it's, it, they're supposed to be a little bit more of a versatile shoe and yes the bliss feels work for both running and like light training i would say that you could probably train a little bit more in these ones so depending on the workouts that you're doing these ones might be a little bit better now i was hoping to do a berries class before I filmed this video but unfortunately I did not so I haven't had an actual chance to test them out for a hit workout but I feel like these ones would still be a great choice so it does have the dual density foam but it's going to be in the midsole of the shoe so that it can kind of provide enough springiness for running but enough like agileness for training if that makes sense so these are designed for like a run first, train second design in mind. It still has like all of the support and stuff that you would need for running, but you can also have room and stretch and stuff that you need for training. For everybody wondering for technical details, the heel drop on this one is nine millimeters. Here's kind of what the traction looks like on it versus the traction on the Bliss Feel. So you can see that this one has a lot more traction to it. And then this one has a little bit more flexibility to it. So there is that difference. I would say that working in these like I wore these for a five six hour shift and I could definitely feel it in my feet more than the bliss feels these ones did feel a lot thinner I would say in the kind of cushioning of them not maybe the best like standing on concrete for long periods of time shoe 
but I am excited to train in these formally. I've done like a little bit obviously here and there, but I haven't done like a full like training session in them. I feel like these ones might be a little bit better of a like run and training, like hit workout type of shoe than the Bliss Feels, but I'm a little interested to see how running in these work. I do like my Hoka's for like running like on the road kind of thing outside my house like around the block around the neighborhood but on a treadmill i would prefer the bliss feel so i'm interested to see how these ones will shape up sorry that i didn't get a chance to do a full workout for you in them but i feel like these ones are going to be like nicer for that purpose which is you know what they're designed for what else these ones also don't have like the heel clip to them so they don't have like that super hugged sensation i feel like at the back of the foot your foot's still obviously secure in these but they do feel like slightly different in comparison to the bliss feels they do also have the charge feel mids which is like a higher version of this i will insert a photo those ones have like a sock like top to them so you don't have to like undo the laces every single time and like lace them up like converse you'll just be able to like slip them on a little bit more easily haven't tried those ones out personally not sure if i love the like mid design look of it for myself but I feel like I need to give them a try as well but they're the same shoe essentially just is gonna have a higher top and that's pretty much the only changes to them so hopefully that kind of helped with the distinction between the charge feel and the bliss feels personally I feel like there's a lot of pros and cons to them the bliss feels I would choose for work I would always gravitate towards these I feel like if I'm going to be standing for long periods of time if I'm going to be standing on concrete especially they're okay for running and training but personally my number one aspect that I'm going to wear these shoes for is working on concrete floor standing for a long period of time these ones I would say I would definitely choose more for that athleisure style if I wanted something a little bit more like clean and sleek I really like that this design has that aspect to it. I would probably say that I'm gonna gravitate towards these for a workout, like a hit workout. I have no idea. I've never tried cycling either before, so not sure how that would compare. These ones are probably fine though. For that purpose, I would say maybe lean towards these if you do like a cycle class. Otherwise, if you are like strictly like weight training, I would probably suggest the strong feel ones because they are gonna be more lightweight and give you the room and support that you'll need for that like training type of exercise. But that sums up today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful and maybe help you choose which shoe might be the right fit for you. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried either one of these shoes and if you tried both, which one is your preference? I would love to know which you find is the best. And if you found this video helpful and made it to the end, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I hope to be doing a giveaway super soon once we hit 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!